Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now in this one, I'm going to show you how to correctly use a round brush to get big hair. I decided to do this video because I was on Instagram stories last week and I basically gave myself cartoon character hair by using a round brush, a hairdryer and a bit of product and I had loads of you guys on Instagram asking me how I did it. So today's the day. So in this one, you're just going to need a couple of things. You're obviously going to need that round brush. You're going to need a hairdryer, a heat protection and volume spray. This one's Fudge tri -Blow. A styling product. For this one, I'm just going to use the Baxter of California clay pomade. And then a hairspray if you just want to lock it all into place. Now before I get going, if you're new to my channel, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button is just below this video. And if you've already done that, then make sure that bell button has been clicked. Just means you're going to get that notification as soon as I upload. But here we go, starting with clean and towel dried hair. Now before you actually get into using that round brush, you want to ensure that the hair is clean. You don't want any product residue because that will weigh the hair down. So I've just washed mine and then towel dried it. Next you want to use your prep treatment. Now this is really going to work with that round brush and the hairdryer to build that volume in. Now I'm using Fudge tri -Blow. This one's got heat protection and it also helps build that volume. I think this actually goes up to something like 230 degrees. So it's really going to protect that hair. And make sure the hair is coated all over from root to tip. And then for the next bit, which you really are all here for, and that's how to use this round brush. Now there are a couple of movements to this, and the way I like to do it is to remember to brush, push, lock, and pull. That means really what you want to do is to get that brush, start working through from root to tip, to brush up slightly to catch the hair, then take it down slightly, twist it to lock the hair around that brush, and then pull through. Now exactly the same time as you're doing that, using your hairdryer, preferably with a nozzle, just to really direct that heat, and you're going to take it onto the brush. That's going to help to build that volume and start to set it. And guys, I always say it across all my videos, use a medium heat and a fast speed. If it's too hot, even if you've got that protection spray, you're really going to find it burning, especially onto your scalp. Now if you're finding that the hair is tugging or you feel like it's breaking, then stop straight away, get the hairdryer off and just reverse that motion. So come back on yourself, unlock it, and pull out. You really don't want to be pulling if it's sore, if you feel any breakage, you want to really protect the hair. The last thing I like to do is to take the temperature of the hair down. That's just going to seal the cuticle, give it a bit more shine, and also prep it for styling. So I'm pushing this cold blast button on the hairdryer, and then just blasting all over. I don't really need to use that brush, I'm just using my hands to work through. Now if you don't have a cold blast, then take the temperature right down. And if you can't do that either, don't worry too much. This is just a step that I like to do to get the hair ready. And once you've done that, it's really up to you to decide how you want to style your hair. You can do like I've done and grab a bit of clay or a bit of putty and just work really onto the surface of the hair to build that definition and just ensure that the style stays. Or you can work your hands right through and take some of the volume down. You're still going to have the hair that's got volume, but it's just not going to be as severe. Now, because you've built that amazing volume into the hair, I like to ensure that it's not going to move. So I'm just grabbing a hairspray and blasting it all over. And there you go guys, how to use a round brush to get big hair. And I'd say, really, if you do want all that volume, then round brush and the hair dryer is the way forward. There's nothing else that I've tried that gives me the same sort of volume. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, and again, you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. I have got loads coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm keeping it a bit of a secret, but make sure you subscribe now to see it. The button is up there. Also, more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them, or head to my blog, right there. But I'll see you in my next new video, which will be Thursday. Bye-bye.